Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Lisa Forzani, as you know, aka The Cooking Cairo. Today, we're so excited, we're going to be making a one pot chicken and rice dish with some fresh vegetables. Last night, I really just didn't know what to make for dinner, and I started to think about what I had in my refrigerator and made this beautiful creation. It was so simple and so tasty, and it's all ingredients I bet you already have in your cupboard right now. So, here we go. For those of you that are new to our channel, we are The Cooking Cairo. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook Lives. We have all kinds of great cooking ideas and just great ideas for the kitchen and also other things. So glad to have you here. So stay tuned, live well, love well, eat well. So our first step is to squeeze the lime onto our cut up chicken. For our one pot rice and chicken dish, here are our ingredients. So you're going to start off with chicken. Now I've had people ask before, like Tracy, she's asked me, can you use dark meat chicken? Of course. But I happen to have chicken breast on the bone, so I cut them in three pieces. It was a gigantic piece. So I have about a pound of chicken, but certainly you could use thighs, certainly you could use chicken breast, and you could also add in sausage. I cooked up some sausage, but some family members don't like sausage as much, so I'm going to leave it out. But certainly you could take two or three sausages, and I would make sure you grill it ahead of time cut it in small bite-sized pieces and add it into this recipe. I also have about two cups of baby portobello mushrooms. I have one and a half cups of jasmine rice. I have one small onion that we're gonna chop in a minute. I also took a handful of asparagus because I happen to have asparagus, but you could certainly substitute it with broccoli if you like broccoli or peas and carrots whatever you like we also have some salt some smoked paprika we have our parsley garlic powder four cloves of chopped garlic oregano and i like bay leaves although you know you can't eat bay leaves but they add a nice fragrant addition to our meal. You can also add crushed peppers if you like at the end, if you like that little zing of spice. And now we're just going to chop one small onion and we're going to saute it in a pan with some salt and olive oil, garlic, we're going to add a little bit after that, and we're also going to add our asparagus. I know we've talked about asparagus and how to take the rough part off the end of the asparagus. It's really a cool little trick, so I want to show it to you. At the end, of course, this is not tasty, it's very fibrous, and it just has a natural break like that, which is great. So these are already washed. We're gonna break off the ends, and then we're gonna cut them on an angle, because I think they look so pretty when they're cut on an angle. Just like so. Voila. We're gonna finish cutting up our onion, nice and fine. We're gonna cut our asparagus, we're gonna saute our vegetables, and everything's gonna fly in there so fast. It's gonna cook in our beautiful little pot that I just bought at TJ Maxx the other day. I love it, it doesn't stick, it keeps the heat in. And it's sort of like, not a crock pot kind of situation, but it holds the heat in, which is what we need in this particular case to cook our rice really, really well without it sticking. That's our onion, and now our asparagus, as promised. We're going to cut it on an angle just like this, like a 45 degree angle, almost like a bevel, a 
about a half an inch or so. And we're going to saute that in our pan right now. In goes our olive oil. We're going to take about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil and just put it right in the pan. The pan's nice and warm right now. The thing I love about this is it has rubber on the sides and then it's non-stick, which is so great. And in goes our little sizzling vegetables. And from here, it all goes fast. We'll take our wooden spoon and just kind of roll it around. And already, you could smell that caramelizing, just doing its job. We're gonna take a little bit of salt and just put it right in the pan with it. Yum, yum, yum. And we're gonna take our garlic. So we have some fresh garlic chopped, about four cloves. So our sauteed chicken and rice, the vegetable dish is gonna be so tasty and yummy. This is gonna cook up for about three to four or five minutes. As soon as your onions are translucent, you are ready to go to the next step. In goes our portobello mushrooms. They're the baby ones. They're cut up. They're going to shrink down. So I put two cups. I love mushrooms. They're so good for you and they cook down so nicely into the rice. Another few minutes on these guys, and now they're all joining the party. Yummy! Now we're gonna put in our one and a half cups of jasmine rice, but you certainly can use risotto rice, which is one of my favorites, or white rice, brown rice, or any other kind of grain that you like. We're going to toast this up and let it kind of get some nice golden color. It's going to take about five minutes. So with the vegetables kind of stirring around the rice, we're going to let that toasty up and kind of leave it alone for about five minutes. Next what we're going to do is we're going to prep the chicken. So we're going to put it right on our cutting board. It's been soaking in lime. Lime helps to break down the fibers of the chicken and make it even more tender. You could also, of course, use lemon. You could use orange. Any kind of citrus does the job really nicely. And now, we already took off most of the fat, most of the skin, but you could certainly, if you like skin, leave the skin on, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna take some paprika and we're going to put it on the chicken. This is a toasty, nice toasty paprika. We're also going to take some garlic powder. And put a little oregano, a little parsley, salt and pepper, and we're throwing it into the mix right now. This is how easy this is. I want you to get used to easy breezy. So now we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt, sea salt, on our chicken. And just nestle it into this beautiful rice mixture. It's nice and toasty. We're going to work it in. One piece at a time. This is our lovely mixture. Nice and seasoned up, smelling so tasty. This is like so easy to make. My family loves this. And then you're gonna take four cups of broth. You can use chicken broth. I use an organic vegetable broth that I made. So I just want you to know, always have that broth ahead of time. You don't have to have the cans and the, all the cartons and everything else. I always think it's nice to have the bouillon or the bouillon paste, which is so easy, then you can make it yourself. And if you want it to be light sodium, you know, make 
it is the color. So it's really great to have. So you're going to put four cups on top of this. Let's get a nice close up of what's going on here. We're going to drown our chicken and rice. It is bubbling up so nicely. I'm going to leave a little of the fluid out. And now you're just going to cover this puppy for 20 minutes and check on it once in a while. But if you could not be tempted to open up the cover, the rice is going to cook down very nicely. I never put my bay leaves in. Excuse me, let me drop in some leaves. Voila. So you want to make sure that once it gets to a boil like this, maybe give it one little stir and then lower it to a simmer. You don't want to boil it the whole time because then it'll stick and it might burn. So you just want to give it a little bit of a stir. Just kind of move it around a little bit. It looks so delicious right now. That rice is just going to cook up, swell up, and take up all the space, and it's just going to look absolutely beautiful and tasty. Know what that means 20 minutes have gone by we're going to check on our chicken and rice and it is looking good i would say that we're going to cook it for a few more minutes though because it's going to absorb a little bit more of that fluid but it looks so tasty i could smell the bay leaves Make sure you don't eat your bay leaves. Another five minutes on this. Well, our rice dish is now complete. Look at how delicious. All those mushrooms are cooked up so nicely. The rice has absorbed most of the fluid. It is tasty. I checked the chicken. It's cooked through. Looks beautiful. And you are ready to eat. This is delicious. And like I said, if you like sausage, you could add sausage into this. You could add a lot of different vegetables into this. It was easy breezy, one pot wonder, and you are ready to serve. Bon appetit, enjoy. It is delicious, yummy, yummy. Hi, everybody. I just want to thank you so much for joining us for this episode of The Cooking Cairo and our chicken rice one pot wonder with all ingredients that are so easy to just throw together and zip together and in 20 minutes you have a wonderful tasty meal so look for us on youtube follow us on youtube follow us on facebook and once again i want to thank my producers shana and savannah my beautiful daughters for all their dedication and hard work making this possible because without them I could never do this and have it pulled together the way they have worked so hard to do. And just remember, live well, love well, eat well, stay safe, have a beautiful holiday, and we'll see you soon.